Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Outpost Engineer. We've been working last episode. We have been working on getting steel beams going. It's super dark over here too. Uh, let's see, before we jump back in, we, we do have some initial steel bars being produced. It's slow. We got enough for another uh, electric furnace, so we're definitely gonna go do that. I can throw away this mycelium while I see it. Anything else I can get rid of? Uh, maybe this loam for now I'll get rid of. Don't need that. And I have, actually, I have some torches here. Let's just use those right off the bat, just because this is so dark through here. Boom. But I was going to say, we have electric lights that we could try out. This is all temporary over here. We're going to have to move all of this. It's just to get us some initial uh, steel beams so that we can build our electric furnaces. I'm just gonna throw down some torches here in no particular order. So we started running a belt back this way. Whoops, I just picked the wrong block. Let me pick that up. This is what I really wanted. Uh, maybe not in the side there, and maybe one here. We can take these up. But yeah, our plan for the steel beams was to run the iron bars into a row of electric furnaces. In fact, we could put these things right next to each other. I might be able to get, I might be able to get three here without, or three in a row, just right next to each other. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So that's why we have the iron bars going here. This little line is temporary. We're gonna take this up, I'm just waiting for these iron bars to get processed by that furnace. And then we'll take this up and we'll take up these inserters. In fact, I should probably take this inserter up just so we use these up first. And again, we keep seeing this little artifacts of when you remove a machine, the item that it was carry holding just kind of sticks around. So I think the developer is aware of that. I may hop into the discord and let him know so he can get to that and get that fixed. Uh, in the meantime, let's go build our, well, let's see. Let's just see if there's any more. No, we got enough for one more electric furnace. Let's go build it. We have kind of our, what is it? Manufacturer machine way over here. This is kind of our, gen our manual crafting area we've got set up. I could stand to throw another torch down. Uh, I can see I need another stone furnace, so let's craft that up. And then we need four steel beams. We've got them. One, two, three, four. And we need four copper sheets. Got plenty of those. One, two, three, four. And what else do we need? Does this thing need power? Uh, one more furnace. There it is. Boom. Cool, then we'll get the extra electric furnace placed. Let's go ahead and plop down a torch while we're waiting. Again, this is just kind of our manual crafting area. All right, there she is. This one I can pick up off the belt. Head back up here and let's see if we can plunk this thing down right next to the one we've got. Nope, something's in the way. I think it's going to be the torch. No, there it goes. Boom. All right. Yeah, this, I think, I don't think I can get any closer. You can tell. I bet I can't. Can I put an inserter? Yeah, I can't. So these kind of overlap a little bit. I've got an inserter selected. You can see there's no, I can't get it in between. So that's as close as those can go. Let's get them powered up. It'd be cool if I could just daisy chain these but i'm pretty sure i can't so i'm actually going to put another power pole down if i can probably right there if it takes it doesn't like it why doesn't it like it we have all this stuff let's see let's see let's see i wonder if i could put a Nah, that would look kind of goofy. I was going to say, I wonder if I could put one of, there's a shorter power pole on. I was wondering if I could put it, mount it right on the side of the hill. But that might look a little goofy. Let's get the pickaxe out and pull this back a little bit. See if I can't make room for a power pole. I 
I don't need any of this stone. That's giving me sandstone. I don't think I have a use for this, so I might just start trashing it out of my inventory. Originally, I was you know, saving this stuff up and kind of feeding it through the molecular analyzers, but I think we're actually through the tech tree. We're in early access, so I wouldn't be surprised if more things get added to the tech tree as the game develops further. But right now, we have gotten through it, as far as I know, unless somehow more things pop in, but I'm not expecting any more stuff to research. Boom, there's that. Let's get our cable. I should clean these up a little bit. Power poles, maybe in another episode, we'll do that. Okay, now we need to feed this one. And we're going to need to remember to replace the inserter that we took off of the other electric furnace. Once this is, uh, once these iron bars get used up. But yeah, this process is slow. So these guys are both smoking, so they've got power need to output the steel ingots. Uh, that was right. Boom. Okay. That guy's doing its thing. It just takes time. It's what? Four? No, one to one. So one iron bar gets you one steel bar, it looks like. But it is slow, slow, slow. Let's see. Did we get any more? We've got one. <laughs> we need one more. This guy is waiting on four steel bars, so that's going to be a while. All right, what can we do? I'm thinking I want to stick with this operation here because I think we're going to need more steel beams, and we need them to kick out a whole heck of a lot faster. So I'm, we got plenty of iron bars. I don't think there's a way to speed up these electric furnaces. I think they're going as fast as they can. So we, I want to put several of these in series, and I'm thinking we should just stick with this for a while. Man, is it slow. So we can clearly get another electric furnace here, right next to these guys. That power pole will stay, and then we're going to need to stay. We're going to need to kick out in order to get around this iron mine. The other thing we could do if we wanted to, we could kind of, hmm, we could kind of do an L shape here. We could start going out straight down towards the satellite dish and kind of have it branch out this way, kind of the way I'm backing up instead of going in a line and trying to stagger it. Probably should have done that from the start. We could still do that from the start if we wanted to. We could take this line of iron bars and just run it straight down this way. Take out these trees, but hmm, hate to rework something that we just put down. Tell you what, let's plan to get one more of these guys down right here, one more electric furnace down, and then maybe leave it at that and move on to creating the turrets. And if this creates a huge bottleneck, then we'll think about how we want to scale this up. And we may want to throw one more power plant down. Look at that little spiky thing hanging off the side here. I'm going to take that out. Boom. Boom. All right. So we're making some progress here. That belt is now empty. And I can take up this inserter and make use of that somewhere else. I need one more steel beam. But it's going to probably be a while. This guy needs one more steel bar and we're, we're good. So there it is. So we should be able to build our fourth furnace here pretty quick. Let's, uh, let's chip away at this hill because I think it's going to be in the way. And then I'm probably going to have to move that torch I just placed too. But we'll start with three electric furnaces here and then we'll see how we do. If it's not enough steel beam production then we can come back and scale it up some more and then decide if we want to go towards the coast or if we want to keep hugging the mountain here. We're probably going to want to get at that iron deposit, so I'm thinking this is as far as we're going to want to go with this row of electric furnaces doing the steel ingots or steel bars. So let's pull this back a bit.
cool. That's going to have to come up pretty darn sure. Let's take this back a little and maybe clean up the floor, the cement floor over here a bit. Make that look a little better. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, that looks all right. That looks all right. I uh, might have to come back a little bit more. Sorry, this is taking a lot of time. Do you pull this back. And then we can see where the belt is. So I might take this little section down so we can get a little more of those concrete blocks down. It takes some work, but you can make it look nice. It just takes some work and boy, it sure looks ugly in the process. But once you start filling in these blocks, then things start to look kind of cool. Ooh, we're just at the perfect height where I can place these without having to do much digging. Maybe one more here at the end to make sure I get it right. That looks like that's it. All right, did we get our bar? We probably got it by now. Let's grab it and then go do our constructing. Now I'm going to need some stone for the furnace part. We've got the four beams. Let's go to the crafting table and make a couple stone furnaces. We know we need that as an ingredient to the electric ones. Boom. Queue up two of those. I think we got plenty of copper plates. There's our four beams. Uh, it's a four copper plates, sheets rather, one, two, three, four. And there's our two furnaces. Off we go. This will help. I can see some mycelium in the background here, it looks like. We just chipped away a bunch of that at the end of the last episode. So we were talking about maybe doing the turrets after this. I'm going to come out here. I'll wait for this guy to roll off the assembly line here. Now right click to pick it up. Let's head back over to our steel assembly line here and drop that down. I'm probably going to have to take up this power pole. Pretty sure that's in the way. That can go. This torch can go. We'll put down more torches. And again, I'm going to want to try out those electric lights at some point because we unlock those from the tech tree. <laughs> Not this little guy. We need this big monster over here at the end of the hot bar. And, oh, yeah, we're going to have to take up this. This is going to be in the way. Pull up some of that. All right. Boom. That's where we need it. And I think, yeah, I'm going to use that same power pole. I know my power cable management here is not the cleanest. We could always do a beautification session here and make things look better. Tell you what, I'm going to extend this platform out a little more. I know we're doing a lot of terraforming this episode. But uh, we'll do it once, and we won't have to mess with it later, hopefully. We got a bunch of stone block, uh, cement blocks, so it made sense to automate these. But I didn't want that one to go where it did, so I'm just going to pull that thing out. Yeah, and I'm down to, what is it, about 150 of these. So I'm going to have to go make a run at some point and replenish the supply. And we... Okay, that guy is powered. We just need to get inserters set up. Extend this belt a bit. Rotate this guy around. Boom, boom. And we've been going with one inserter. That seems like that's enough. Still have 18 inserters, so we're okay with that. He's plugged in. There he goes. He's smoking. Let's get the output belt going. Uh, that looks right. And now we need to just shift over what we had before. So these, these got to come up for sure. We're going to, again, we're going to try and get by with just three. 
We'll see if we come up way short or we're waiting on, um, we're waiting on these steel beams, then we'll have to come back and tear this up a little bit and scale it up. I can get pretty close actually. Why don't I do that? So we need one more belt section here uh, and then an inserter here. And then we can belt out, but we don't really need to belt out. We're putting this right into a box. So I think I can get by with just an inserter like that. And then pick a recipe here for steel beams. That'll get that inserter going. And then we just need power. Now here I will probably try to get one more power pole, uh, which is unfortunate because it's more terraforming. Let's do it. Not a big deal. And again, I'm thinking I can just throw away this material that I'm mining here. I don't think there's a real purpose for it. We saw that there, I explained, I think in the last episode, how the sand that you mine by hand is not the same sand that you need to make silica shards, even though it says it's sand. They both are described as sand. Only one of those can be used to make the silica shards. So... All of this material I'm taking up, the sandstone, I think is just garbage, unless I want to use it for building blocks. But we've kind of standardized on the concrete blocks. I think these look pretty cool. So we'll probably stick with that. Let's go ahead and plop down our last little power pole. You should work. Why don't you want it there? Oh, I really want it there. I'm going to dig back a little bit just because I'm stubborn. Let's do that. want it where I want it. And I want it over here. Back a little bit in line with the other power pole. Let's see, can we see what's in the way here? Now I can't scroll up any higher, so I've actually got to mouse back or walk backwards to get to these higher blocks. Because that's as high as I can scroll. Mouse upwards, rather. I got a goofy little nugget here in the corner of my eye. Let's see if I can take that out. Probably not. Come on. There it goes. All right. Maybe let's take out some of this if it's complaining. Shouldn't. This shouldn't be in the way here. All right. Power pole. Do me a favor, buddy. That's good enough right there. I'm happy with that. Let's get this wired up. And get on to other things. You to you, you to you. Now that little constructor does not spit out smoke, but he's working. And hopefully with three of these electric furnaces, I can't, I'm not sure if I could squeeze a fourth one in. Probably not here on this side. We could do something creative later, but let's just uh, let's let that run. Let's go tear out that uh, mycelium. I guess before oh, we got, do we have some over here? No, I think we're okay. Let's take a look at where we're going to make the turrets and what that's going to take. It's right here. We need iron frames, oh, circuit boards, and bronze gears. So we've been putting off automating the bronze gears. Probably need to set up a little production line for that rather than doing it by hand all the time. That might be actually next, the bronze gears. And then we can look at doing those circuit boards. Solar is kind of cool too. And for the solar panels, we need bronze gears too and circuit boards. So it makes sense to automate those two things or at least get a production line going for each one of those. And then what did I want to see? Iron frames, do we have those automated? We do somewhere, don't we? Is that over here? No, that's tin. Well, I've forgotten where iron frames are. All our iron stuff is over here. Do we have iron frames? I've totally forgotten where that is. I guess I didn't forget, they're right here, good. So we're cool on iron frames. We need bronze gears, that's probably next. And then let's just take a quick look and see what the ammo takes, the ammunition for these things takes. Uh, it's not here. Where is the ammo? Do we make it in this little guy? Nope. 
How about this guy? Yep. Ammo takes an iron rod and copper sheets. Iron rod and copper sheets. That we're obviously going to need to automate. I don't know if we would... If we would... Uh, try and route that to the turrets with belts or just deliver it by hand. Delivering it by hand is not great, right? Any automation game, delivering things by hand isn't the best, especially if you're going to keep using up that material. But we can maybe start out that way. Now here, it's kind of interesting. We've got iron and we've got copper. And those are the two ingredients I think that we need for for the ammo, right? Wasn't it like copper sheets? Let's take a look again at that. Yeah, copper sheets and iron rods. Iron rods, I'm guessing, are... Where are those? Probably from iron bars through here, maybe? Yeah, iron bars into a constructor. So we could potentially... It's a little crowded. <laughs> it's a little crowded. And we got a bunch of copper over here, actually. We're not using. Uh, but we'd like iron and copper nearby each other in order to make a line to do the ammunition. So we could do something creative here and run two belts next to each other out this way, maybe. I don't want to cover up this copper mine. But maybe even in this area here, somehow we can make use of this little stretch and produce ammunition. We've got we can have a pretty long line here if we want. And I'm not sure if we can terraform into the into the ocean. Let's just see for the heck of it. If we wanted to expand out this way, could we? Got some blocks selected. Let's see. It doesn't look like we, well. We can. Uh, can I get, I can't really get level to the ground, but that's not the end of the world. So we could always ramp up and build a platform out of the water. Uh, it's going to take a few resources to pull it on <laughs> to do it. But anyway, that's good to know that we can do that. That's actually kind of, could be kind of cool actually to have a little platform out there. Maybe we could do a solar array out on the water just for fun. Tear up some of this mycelium. So yeah, let's do, let's get started on the bronze plates. I think, I mean, I'm sorry, the bronze uh, gears. I'm going to head over here and tear out this mycelium before it gets too far out of hand. It looks like it may have already started to get too far out of hand. Can I reach from here? Not quite. All right, I can chip away while I'm walking. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, so you can see why I'm thinking about doing the turrets next. As opposed to solar panels or anything else. This is going to get a bit tedious. And I think a few strategically placed uh, turrets will help greatly keep this back. Especially since we're going to be putting more... Um, we're going to be putting more electricity generators or combustion generators out this way as we place more furnaces and we expand our factory. So there's going to be a bunch of more pollution and that means a bunch more of these guys to deal with. So I think it makes sense to do the turrets and the ammunition next. It seems like a logical next thing to go after. Let's tear all this back. It's hard to target this sometimes. You can see I'm hitting materials way in the distance as I try to go after this mycelium. But we'll get it. And then I guess once we have the turrets, we won't have to bother with this. I imagine they automatically can aim and take care of all of this stuff. Let's grab the bloom here this time. And this is probably a result of spinning up those three new electric furnaces. The extra pollution and Power that we're generating is probably causing these blooms to uh, increase. Take this back and then we'll get on the bronze gears and figure out how we want to do that. We got plenty of copper. I want to try and standardize on using the electric furnaces. 
So this whole array out here of power generation, that is probably going to expand quite a bit as we play on. So we'll see. We may have to even move some stuff over this way. I forgot what we're even producing over here. What is this? This is, this the, what is this? Oh, that's our concrete blocks. Boy, I thought, yeah, I guess we are near the coast. Let's grab these. What's the holdup, fellas? We need more. Let's see what's going on here. Is it power? Seems like we should be, this should be humming along. Yeah, it looks like it might be power, right? Is this all wired up? It sure looks like it. Yeah, it's all connected. We may be short on power already. It's hard for me to tell, if, um, just to be honest, it's hard for me to tell from the power pole what this is doing. No, I can assume this is maybe we need 34 and I'm only meeting half of that. But then this capacity says 234. And I'm not sure actual energy is zero. So this stuff isn't, th that part doesn't help me too much. These guys look like they have product waiting. It needs a rock. So this is the one that's just stuck, right? And I'm not sure why. Why are you stuck? The fact that our four combustion generators are smoking along here makes me think we may be short on power. This, boy, what a pain. What a... What a pain. <laughs> oh, look at our coal production is even hurting. That's new. Wow. Yeah, we're not even filling up our belts. We've only got one mine here that's working. Uh, and this belt not being saturated is a problem. I gotta think we're short on elect electricity. So we may need to prioritize that before we can get to the bronze gears. Why don't we do it? Bummer. Now this whole line, we're just going to extend this thing out. We got to, okay, yeah, there's no ore here. We can just extend this thing out into the sea if we need to. I want, obviously I want to switch to solar at some point, but we're not anywhere near being ready to do that. So let's use the building blocks we've got to extend this platform. We're going to have to detour from our original plans of working on the bronze gears and instead get maybe two more power generators going. So let's expand this platform a bit. I got a tree in my way. That's going to come out. Boom, boom. Bring this back. Yeah, and I don't think I'm covering up any valuable resources by doing it this way. I might have to try and make a little ladder <laughs> or a ramp or something here uh, to get up here more easily. We can maybe even try that right now. How am I going to do that? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Something that looks decent, right? That's not horrible. Uh, I'm not going to call it beautiful. I don't think I can get a nice edge on this. You see what I'm talking about? Like, right? Yeah, I'm always going to have this little broken thing, but this lets me get up. All right, we need a combustion generator, at least one, maybe two. And then hopefully the coal will catch up. I may have to go by hand and feed some of this stuff. Let's go see what it takes to do the combustion generator. I forgot what machine that even is, where we construct that. Bummer. Yeah, we need more power. Now, I know if you guys watched the first season, my first Let's Play on this, like I had a really early build. I think this is back in uh, February of 2021. The combustion generator, boy, that thing threw off a ton of power, and I was able to build quite a bit of stuff without having to add more of them. I do have a lot more machines down already on this playthrough. So it could be that they have the same power. I'm just using way more. 
Let's dump this mycelium out of my inventory. We can just start trashing stuff I don't need to make room in inventory. I have one little coal nugget. <laughs> we can use that for something later. Let's see. I need the furnace. Where is that? It wouldn't be in here because that's a, a manufacturer we built kind of late. Oh, you know what else we can do? Let's take this whole operation up. All of this, this, and this. This is consuming power, and it's not doing us any good. We don't need to produce any more data cubes. We're done with the research tree. In fact, all that time, it didn't produce one. That'll save us a little tiny bit of power, and it just cleans up some of the mess. All right, I'm looking for where I can build that combustion generator. I'm guessing it's here. Where are you? Are you not here? Now, that was a fairly early game machine. I don't see it. There's those new little small electric poles. I'm kind of curious about those. Oh, uh, I don't see it there. That's the assembler. Here's the constructor. Let's see. Is it the crafting table? I don't remember it being in the crafting table, but maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. It's right. Is it in here? Yeah, it's this guy here. Uh, we've got what we need. Let's make a couple. We've got enough for two. Cool. All right. Well, let's wrap this episode here. What did we get done? We added another electric furnace or two. I can't remember if we had one or two, but we've got three going now. We've got some other things to keep us busy. So maybe the production of iron or of steel beams will be sufficient. We've got seven in there. That's enough for two more electric furnaces. And who knows what else we need to use these for. That's not too bad. So this may suffice for a while. And then we were looking at what to do next. And we thought about, well, let's get the turrets going. So we're not having to spend so much time tearing up the mycelium and these fungal blooms. And so we saw that we needed copper and iron for that, at least for the ammunition. So we were setting out to automate that. We came out here to tear out some more mycelium by our power plant. And then we saw that our coal line here is not compressed. And I think it's due to power shortage. So we're going to spin up. So next episode, we'll spin up two more combustion generators here or whatever these are called. Let me see. I may have the name wrong because I play a lot of games. Yeah, combustion generator. We'll put two more down. And then we'll keep expanding this platform out over the sea if we need to with combustion generators, as long as we can get enough, keep this belt full of coal. Uh, and then eventually we'll get to solar power and batteries and that we'll standardize on that and maybe do that out over the sea too, because we've got plenty of room out there. Hopefully our little building block or concrete block operation line here is going to be enough to suffice. We could always scale that up if we needed to, too. Anyway, that's all for next episode. For now, this is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.